High school today is much more engaging and definitely evolves in technology. We do not have as much technology as the students today have. High school is completely different. I feel like it's, um, it's become so much more flexible than when we were in high school. Students can really explore material more on their own and as teachers we can be more of facilitators than lecturers. It's more student-centered, I would say. More about the students engaging in their learning than just me teaching it all the time. When I was in school, it was just used one way. That was the way that you did it. That was the way that you had to learn. There are many great tools online that students can actually manipulate atoms for chemistry so and manipulate different chemicals that they wouldn't be able to use in the classroom. I can assess quickly how my kids are doing on their warm-ups from the previous material. It comes up in this nice spreadsheet for me to see the point breakdown of how well they did on each thing so I can see where I need to reassess and reteach. Some of them still have the alternative to type online or maybe we're going to be on Padlet or they're going to make questions and be able to see what other students are learning in my other classes. There's so many other tools if I listed them all it would take like 10 minutes but I love using technology. I think it was my favorite thing to see a room full of parents, adults, on their uh, phones going like this. Whoa, this is so neat! Because what I did was a virtual field trip to Zion National Park. Um, the parents came in, we took a quick poll everywhere on um, how they felt about personalized learning. And most of the parents were like really excited and really curious to see what would happen. And then when they did the quiz live, they kind of got a hands-on experience of, oh, I have to go and introduce myself to some other random adult in the room. I actually took a virtual escape room that I had created for Growl last year, and I shortened it um, to use with the teachers because we only had about, or the parents, because we only had about 20 minutes. It actually gets you to this feeling like you're actually there and you're actually seeing something new and innovative rather than looking at a picture from a textbook. Me and Christina Shira did the Socratic seminar. Um, 21st learning experience. We had an inner circle and an outer circle and the outer circle had to use whiteboards to engage and the inner circle had to speak on the topic. Um, so it was just a good way to see how the parents are engaging with each other but without teacher involvement. So I had the parents come in and we had a bunch of different types of maps that uh, somewhere online we did a college football map that the New York Times did and then we had a couple of um, on the wall maps that they got up and they moved around and like put population on. So they did a couple different mapping activities where they got to see what their kids were doing using technology and mapping and human geography. One of the things that was really exciting was the parents working together meeting new people they were able to collaborate and get to know each other really fast. As they got into it, you could see ones that are really appreciating the way that they were finding information and they, some were competitive, so they wanted to finish first. And so it was just interesting to see them get excited about um, what we were doing and how it worked. It was very interesting to see how the parents were engaging with each other because they really were acting just like our students. <laughs> Some of them were scared to put the whiteboards up. Some of them were scared to talk, but I think it was really interesting to see how they overcame that fear. One thing that was really exciting was seeing the parents have similar moments their kids have when they like learn or they figure something out. So a couple of the parents uh, started to understand what the map was telling them, that they had to guess what it was, and when they understood you could see that they were excited to learn and it felt like watching the way the kids did. So it's cool to see that coming together. Today it is so different. We really use technology as a major part of the learning experience and it would be good for parents to see that it's embedded in the learning and it's not just something we throw like whatever you can use this or you can not use it. We, can, we really can't teach the material the same way without the technology. I would say take the opportunity and do it because like you're gonna get an opportunity to see what your kids do and it's a unique experience to get to like not just hear about what your kids do or meet the teachers but to get to participate in the same thing your kids do. It may feel a little intimidating because it is something that's hands-on and you may be doing something a little bit different than you're used to but it's what your students are doing every day and so just to be able to experience what they're experiencing and seeing what the classrooms are like today as we're moving more and more towards 21st century learning. Just go and try it and keep your mind open to what would happen. There's so many different possibilities with different subjects and different teaching styles that people use a myriad of ways to incorporate technology into the new classroom. So just go and have fun.